Tom's how's everybody doing? Hope everybody's doing well. Ah, uh, you guys know who I am. I'm Tom. Okay, the topic of this story is the equipment it takes to run a farm. Also, basically to run a business. Okay, first let's start with power. You need a generator. Okay, now this will apply to farm or a business. So a couple items in here I'll show you, like the four-wheeler. Uh, you know, if you're in the landscaping business, you can use this for some reason. But, you know, this is strictly farm stuff. Okay, you need hoses, air hoses, trash cans, bench grinder, box saw, weed eaters. Also, one of these stump grinders. You need, of course, air compressor, chainsaw, tools, screws, nuts, backup battery. You need a chemical vat so you can spray for weeds, all kinds of oils, gasolines, diesels, cooking oils, cleaners, charcoal, Coleman stuff. More tools, of course, all the things you other stuff you need, ladders, a lot of hand tools, post hole diggers, shovels, just all kinds of stuff, jacks, bush hog, yeah, gravelly bush hog, of course, power washers. Wheelbarrows. Oh man, the list goes on. Nuts, bolts, screws, paints, stains, cleaners, other products, chainsaw equipment, bar oil, extra uh, chains, hammers, nails for the post, fire extinguisher, organic trash can, composting trash can. Ah, uh, yes. Yes, yes. There's so much stuff that you need when running a farm. You need water. You need extra barrels. Also buckets. Probably need a tractor. You always need a spare pile of lumber. And galvanized tin. You need farm implements, all the stuff you need, bush hogs, row builders, bottom plows, <coughs> box blades, disc haulers. You need to have a fire pit. Okay. <laughs> I think you guys get the idea. Hey, guys, how's everybody doing? Man, I just finished up that big sheetrock job, went back and did all the trim work, got paid. Uh, let me just say this. Uh, for a local gig, uh, that was a good gig. Uh, all I can say is that was a very, very good gig. I enjoyed it. Uh, and also, too, made a lot of contacts because of it just right here on the farm, okay? So, uh, when I came back this morning, I finished the trim work up. Uh, I started going through the van, cleaning it up, organizing it. And, oh, yeah, by the way, let me show you. Man, it took me like an hour to uh, clean this van up. But, uh... Bear with me. Oh crap. Ah. Come on, fumble fingers. But I got it all cleaned and organized. And yeah, this is the other thing you need. <laughs> all kinds of other stuff. That's a box full of trash for the last four or five days. Just all my accumulated waste and debris. Uh, I'm gonna throw that in the dump this afternoon, but uh, cleaned it out, organized it, everything looks good. Great, perfect. Okay. Man. Look at that. Look at the soybean field. It's looking righteous, brother. I'm sure he'll come out here and harvest this once it all dries out completely from that big uh, rain that we had. Uh, that, of course, uh, that, that was a tragedy for North Carolina. The aftermath is, is the East Coast or there's a lot of counties, Robinson, Cumberland, uh, Roxboro, uh, Goldsboro. Uh, these are all counties that are still underwater. Uh, there's so many, and there's dozens more. 
and 20 people lost their lives in North Carolina, 20 or 22, I'm not sure exact number, but uh, we got hit hard. And, and, and all I can say is thank God that, uh, you know, this is what I've been preaching. Okay, think about it this way. All the people in Cumberland County, there were thousands of them standing in line uh, to try to get food relief uh, because they lost everything in the refrigerator and freezers. Now, these people are standing in line for hours, no home, no car, uh, and, and, and standing in line for food, stuff that they already lost. Now, as a prepper, these kind of contingency plans, things that you know could possibly happen, Mother Nature, government, uh, you know, uh, foreign power, any, you name it. There's so many things that can go wrong and happen that will directly affect your lives uh, that if you sit around, you know, thinking everything is consistently humpy-dory, one day, someone's going to reach out and touch you, you know, and if you're not prepared, uh, you know, and, 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 and God bless them all because, you know, I, I suffered no ill effects here in Raleigh. We had a lot of rain. We had a lot of rain in Eflin. I mean, buttloads of rain. But, you know, I did a lot of prep work to Eflin or else I was going to lose the little house because it was sinking. So anyway, that, you know, it's a tragedy. But that's, that's what prepping's all about, guys. That right there in itself, and this is ongoing. We, we, we are uh, right now in a state emergency with uh, uh, Pat, uh, Governor Pat McCrory uh, for, uh, you know, uh, I think like 20 counties in North Carolina that are in disaster areas. So don't ever think that something can't happen to you. Mother Nature is the big one. Uh, that's the one that's, uh, you know, every five years or so, she's going to come out and reach out and do something. And, 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 and turn people's lives upside down. So I just come up here and, and I'm fine. You know, I got spare food, spare water, place to sleep. And, and that's what nobody was preparing for down there. Everybody was just going about their normal lives. And I know financially a lot of people can't do nothing about it. You know, uh, they got one home, they're renters, whatever. You know, they got a minimum wage job. They're not going to be able to pull off a real big plan B. And I totally get that, and I and I respect that. Oh, and but the people who who can't afford it, and you're not doing nothing about it, or you're sitting back thinking, oh, everything will be cool. You know, the government will take care of us. FEMA will take care of us. The Red Cross will take care of us. Our banks will take care of us. Our neighbors will take care of us. Uh, guess what? In a time of crisis, they're taking care of themselves. They're sure not worried about you. So you got to start worrying about you. And if you don't start worrying about you, who will? So this is a strong message to everybody to get off your ass and start prepping, okay? You guys have a blessed day. Tom out of here. I'll see you guys on another video. Remember, you need tools, supplies, fuels, everything, everything in a case of, in a time of emergencies, okay, and natural disasters. I'll see you guys later. Tom out of here. Bye.